The first thing you'll need to do is replace the thread that arrived in your sleek threader. To do this, simply release the beaded ends and remove the thread from the rear hook. To start, open the cassette and gently unroll one of the pre-measured lengths of epilation threads away from its holder. Now you're ready to thread your new sleek. Hold the sleek threader with the dial facing downward. Insert one bead into the channel at the end of the left handle and run the thread from the outside inwards. Make sure the bead is fitted securely in the groove. Next, pull the thread along the length of the left handle and into the channel at the end of the same side. Then simply hook the thread through the eyelet at the rear of the threader and out through the channel on the outside of the right handle. Pull the thread along the length of the right handle and twist the thread four or five times around itself. After twisting the thread around itself, run thread through the channel at the front of the right handle from the inside outwards and make sure once again that the bead fits securely in its groove. Your sleek works best with a taut thread, so check the tightness of the thread by applying light pressure with your finger. Your sleek is now ready to use and you're on your way to silky, sexy, hair-free skin. You may wish to first practice using your sleek on an area of hair that is unnoticeable, like fingers or toes. Before each sleek epilation, thoroughly cleanse the skin. Apply a touch of dusting powder just prior to epilation. Now that your skin is clean and oil-free, you're ready to remove your unwanted hair. Simply place the sleek handle against your skin, making sure the threaded side is touching your skin. Now press the handles. Notice how the thread loop moves backwards as the sleek threader handle opens. Threading works by having the twisted thread loop capture and remove hairs from the follicle. It is important to position the sleek so that the twisted thread moves against the direction of the hair growth. Here's an example. If you want to remove hair from the right side of your upper lip, then the front of the sleek handle should be under your nose and the end against your right cheek, since hairs grow from the middle of the face toward the cheeks. When removing hair from the left side, turn your sleek around to work against the direction of hair growth in this area. In addition, the epilation area under the sleek threader must be firmly pulled tight. Only one hand is needed to operate your sleek, so use your other hand to hold the skin in a taut position with your fingers while using sleek. When working on the forehead or above the brow, pull the skin down from the eyebrow or slightly below. To tighten your cheeks or sideburns, pull down toward your chest or to the side toward your ears. For upper lip, push out with your tongue under the area to be epilated and move the tongue simultaneously as sleek moves along the skin. Unlike tweezing one hair at a time, Sleek effectively removes an entire straight line of hairs from the follicle all at the same time, leaving the skin hair-free and smooth. For best results, open and close the Sleek handles with quick stroke motions. When finished using Sleek, it is recommended that you remove and discard the used thread prior to storage. Simply release the beaded ends and lift the thread out of the rear hook. 